back to the new number one morning show in Northwest Indiana. News, sports, education, and entertainment. Wake up, GI, with Jeffrey Smith. Brought to you by the Geary Community Schools Corporation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, of course, it is the top of the hour on a very beautiful Thursday. It is the 12th of May, 2022, and this is Wake Up GI with Jeffrey Smith. You know, uh, every morning I during the traffic and the weather, uh, you hear me talk about one of our newest sponsors, uh, and they've been with us uh, pretty much as, as a, a special sponsor, maybe a couple of months now, but uh, the, this young lady that I'm about to introduce, and of course, her compadre, who is in the studio with her as well, uh, she was one of my first guests on the show when I came over here, and uh, she's doing great work. Uh, but the group I'm talking about, of course, is the National Hookup of Black Women Incorporated, NWI. And I, you know, when I first learned about this organization, I was very impressed. Number one, I, they were founded in 1974. And then, uh, you know, kind of uh, as a, I guess, like an extra arm, an extra pair of hands to help out the Black Legislative Caucus, correct? Or something like that. Go ahead, Sandra, tell me. Excuse me. Uh, pull your mic down. Of course, this is the executive director. You can pull it up. Good. Pull your mics up, ladies. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, Sandra Vasquez, which is currently the chapter president of the Northwest Indiana chapter yeah. of the National Hookup of Black Women. And here next to me is Claudette Bullock, which is our first vice president. Nice. Um, the Black National Hookup of Black Women actually was founded in 1974 by Dr. Anita Young Boswell yeah. and 13 other women during the Black Caucus Legislative Weekend. Right. As the men were in session, the women were in the hotel room right. articulating the needs for women and their families. See? Okay? Yeah. Since then, the chapter has branched out, and we currently have 21 chapters throughout the United States. Nice. And we are the Northwest Indiana chapter, which was founded in 2007 by Laura Smith Link. Okay, there you go. See, I, 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 I read, uh, so I, 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 I pretty much had it, but I'm glad you articulated beautifully. And so, uh, you know, that's a long time, and you know we think about the 1972 Black Political Convention that took place over in Gary, and we think about the early 70s when African Americans, uh, Shirley Chisholm, I mean obviously 1968 with Stokes and Richard Gordon Hatcher, and uh, Black Elector really starting to gain steam and really be active, and, to, and when you kind of look back historically and put things in perspective, it's, co it's kind of impressive that uh, your your founder just was was kind of had the foresight to say you know what we got we need to be able to articulate our needs uh for the women you know the men are out there they're meek then fine that's great too we'll always support them but we you know we've got voices that we want to we want to be heard too and we're going to do it with an organization just like the men do and i thought that that is it, you know it's very impressive and then to see how far you all have come and here we are in 2022 so first of all i want to say welcome to the president with executive director president and the first vice president welcome to the show Thank, Thank you. you. Well, you know, um, one of the things, Sandra, that we talked about uh, during the month of April, and I, you know, I was doing my best. You and I talked on the phone, but I talked about the scholarship that you you all were were doing, and you were giving out five hundred dollar checks uh, to young ladies uh, who were, you know, either already accepted into accredited colleges for the fall, and then you had some specific provisions where maybe I think you were doing something if somebody kind of had their student their their school year or their, their trip in college interrupted, I think there was opportunities there I, from what I read or something like that. But go ahead and tell us what that scholarship was about. Okay, actually, uh, we do award scholarships every year yeah. to graduating high school seniors. Now, I will say this, our scholarships are not um, just for Girl. females. Oh, we okay, now that I didn't know. As well. yeah. Yes. Um, also, I would like to state that we also have a special scholarship as well, which our vice president um, is in charge. Yeah. Uh, that's her scholarship in, in, in memory of her son, Dwayne Moman. Oh. Um, however, that scholarship is in the arts, specifically of music. Yeah. Uh, however, with ours, um, it's just not you know limited to one area. Right. Um, and we do have males and females. Um, in fact, this year, uh, we will be awarding six scholarships yeah. at this gala. Um, and then we've already uh, selected our recipient for the scholarship that is, is administered under the Urban League of Northwest Indiana, which that will occur 
uh, this month as well. So that's a total of seven scholarships yeah. this year. Yeah, now all all of them are there the same uh, amount. I know you, yes. like they were five hundred dollars each. So that's that's almost that's like thirty five hundred dollars or so. Yes. No, that's pretty yes. impressive. And then we've also provided some continuing education scholarships as well. Uh, just for an example, uh, during the heightened uh, the heightening of the pandemic, yeah, uh, we we're able to go ahead and do a local needs assessment yeah. and we were able to go ahead and administer some scholarships as well, several for the continuing education students as well. Right, right. Now let's talk uh, to your lovely first vice president who I had the pleasure of meeting today and once again I, I really am uh, impressed with this organization. I'm kind of new to knowing that it existed. Thank you for, thanks Sonda for, for doing that but I really am. I think it's just a great organization. I definitely am, am proud to be able to kind of help out or at least give voice to some of the great stuff you're doing. Now tell us about your your involvement and how you got involved and then I want to hear more about your scholarship that you kind of chair. Okay, good morning uh, and we want to thank you for having us on today and uh, good morning to your listeners. Um, my role as the first vice president is to administer and make sure and promote the programs that we have. Yeah. And uh, our mission uh, really talks about five target areas. Yeah. Uh, that is to promote the arts, uh, culture, yes. uh, education, mm -hmm. human services, yeah. and health. Yes. And so what happens during the year, various months, we focus on those various targets. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we collaborate with uh, local uh, organizations through the arts. Yeah. Uh, in the month of February, we have um, our African American Read, and uh, that entails us contacting as many students and adults, senior citizens, and give them an opportunity to yeah. hear uh, and read black authors that nice. have gotten information out there. Yeah. So we are encouraging people to read because you know reading is knowledge. It, it absolutely okay. is. And then we collaborate with health agencies mm -hmm. uh, to promote health, talk about women's issues. Yeah. Some of our programs uh, have to do with domestic violence. Yes. Uh, so we have uh, months that we devote to that, uh, trying to get the message out about violence uh, right. domestically. Also, we have a program in February that uh, focuses on teens, mm -hmm. and that is a teen summit that we do every year. We oh. invite teens in. In fact, this year, uh, we had teens. It was a virtual uh, yeah. summit, so we were able to invite uh, teens from all over the country. Wow. Okay, that's one advantage <laughs> of Zoom. <laughs> uh, you can invite people, so you're not only touching your local... Yes teens, we had uh, teens from all over. Wow. And so we were able to talk to them about teen dating, uh, mm -hmm. violence, yes. uh, mental health. You know, again, we focused on black history, right. uh, information, the financial literacy. Oh we, my goodness, yes. Them. So a myriad of uh, uh, facilitators come in, yeah. you know, and so um, all of this, you know, we can go on and on right. and on about our various program scholarships. Yeah. You know, again, as Sonda indicated, scholarship and education is real huge for us. Now, tell us about uh, your scholarship, the the one specifically that you kind of man or chair over, yes. and, and and how that came to be. That came about uh, because of the death of my son uh, in uh, 2015. Yes, ma'am. And so he was um, a rapper. He was a writer. Yeah. Uh, he was a poet. Yeah. And uh, so I felt that I wanted to. Uh, reach out to a young male yeah. that was uh, in that area. And in honor your son in the and process. And honor my son in the process. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And so yes. uh, kind of give us some details. How often do you, I mean, I, it, it's an annual scholarship, I'm assuming. That is based and, on the applicant yeah. that it falls into that category. Right. Okay. And so I do specifically leave that for a male. Right, right. Uh, but um, Now when is, is usually the submission period for people that might be The uh, submission interested? period is the same time as our normal scholarships. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so um, at this particular time, uh, we mine is still open. Right. So if there is a male out there 
uh, that would qualify. I, I don't put a limit on mine yeah. as long as they get that information Absolutely. in there to me. Okay, and then so how do they do that? Do they go on your all's website? Could you give that information? How, how well, people interested Well, uh, they submit? could contact us at our um, phone number. Yeah. They can call on our, our, our chapter phone. Yeah. And that's 219-617-3145. Right. Okay, and just leave a message that they want to apply for the Dwayne Mullen scholarship. I love I love this. You know, Sonda, I think I talked to you about this before, but you know, when I was kind of announcing uh, about the scholarship and reading the criteria and things like that, I, I you know, the one thing I do know, both of you ladies, that that you just kind of um, t t spoke it just a minute ago, is that you kind of stress education. But there was something else about your organization that I was very impressed with, and that is is that you really emphasize service. I mean, you 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 really kind of want people, you know, our young people to, who qualify for these things to have done something, to go out Absolutely. here into the community, yes. join in to some local organizations. You know, you're not asking them to, you know, go out here and, you know, lead an organization or anything like that, but just put like five, ten hours uh, of service in in a variety of different ways, and then you kind of reward them, and that all weighs heavily onto, you know, who you determine get these scholarships. So, I mean, is that kind of something that you kind of stress as an organization when you're out here looking for people to kind of impact on? And, you know, obviously we're all for education, but you really want to push people to get involved in the community. Yes, we do. We definitely do. Uh, but the young people are our future generation. Yeah. So we want to lead by example. We are a service organization. And so, of course, we want the young people to get involved in service. In fact, not just during scholarship time, we have the opportunity where they can come aboard throughout the year yeah. and volunteer with us yeah. as well. So, okay, that's where I kind of wanted to get to, too, because I have had a couple people after I kind of talk about you all, they, they say, well, how do I find them? And, you know, exactly, you know, I, I might have a young scholar or a young, you know, a young person in my life that it seems like he, she, because I, until you kind of stressed it, I kind of thought you all were strictly for the ladies. But if there are young women out here who, who want to go out here and possibly join or become, you know, maybe student members of your organization, do you provide that opportunity? At this point in time, you have to be 18 years old yeah. to become a member. However, we do not have a junior chapter, but our organization does have a junior chapter. But we will still accept them to come and serve with us in yeah. the community yeah. for these events. Now for the 18 and over, how do, okay, so what, what are you looking for there? Because these are obviously college age young ladies uh, who, who possibly would love uh, to join and, and, and be part of this service. And you know, I always say that you know, when people are thinking about applying to colleges and things like that, it always helps to have uh, memberships and organizations and yes, show absolutely. that you do yes, other absolutely. stuff when you're out here. So how, uh, how do they get involved? How or what we, are you looking for? What are we looking yeah. for? We're looking for anyone who is willing to serve and that's going to be committed. Yeah, because you, exactly. And that, listen, that's That's key, what you said the, the last key, time you were the here. Because you all do key. work. That's the key. Absolutely. We don't want anyone to come in and sit down because that's not who we are. Right, right. We're about action. Well, you all have a, an event coming up very shortly. This is part of your fundraising season, like a lot of uh, nonprofit organizations. You're supported by public support. And you have to go out here uh, occasionally and ask people to kind of help out, you know, show, put their money where their mouth is. And so tell us about this wonderful event you got coming up, this gala, as it were. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this right here. Um, and, and I'm going to say this because I could actually talk about it, but I do want to publicly thank uh, Ms. Bullock. Yes. Uh, which she's our first vice president, but she's also had to step in the road to oversee this gala. Yeah, yeah. And so I want to thank her. Um, and so with that being said, in due fairness, I want to allow her to speak uh, about this. Well, go ahead, Because please. she is actually the one that has assumed the role at this point. There you go. Well. <laughs> <laughs> all eyes on you well, now. <laughs> yes, all eyes on me. Um, our annual scholarship gala is going to, uh, as you mentioned uh, before, is going to take place on the 5th of June. Yes. Uh, of this year and this is our first gala since 2019 of yeah. course we had the pandemic uh, we had to uh, cancel that yeah. year and then in 21 the um, surge right. of the variant we had to cancel again but however we're looking forward to really um, 
coming together with our partners in the community yeah. and one of our partners Ashley Stewart uh, oh, stepped up yeah. and they're going to uh, perform um, the fashion show portion oh, of our gala okay yeah. Uh, we'll have uh, entertainment. Lady Sachs is going to uh, I be know there. of Lady Sachs, and legend. You know she is a legend in the area. Yes. Uh, we have a DJ, um, Tina Powell, who is has the calling uh, card of NJ for Red. Uh oh. Uh, so she's uh, hot. We also are going to have a photo booth there. Yeah. Uh, Law Fadik is um, uh, furnishing the photo booth for oh. us. Oh. And uh, we have uh, guest models from. Um, the uh, Ashley Stewart store yeah. uh, coming along. It's going to be at the Chateau Banquet um, Center. You know, the food is delicious yeah. there. Yeah. And so we're looking to have an opportunity to uh, not only um, uh, award our recipient scholarship or recipients yeah. there, uh, but we're going to um, acknowledge and recognize our partners. Mm -hmm. So we have had uh, support from the uh, community, yeah. uh, various um, organizations, and we're looking forward uh, you know, to them. We have, um, I don't know if you want me to talk about some of our sponsors. Please, go ahead. Okay, we, we have uh, sponsors uh, from, of course, I mentioned Ashley Stewart. Yes. Um, uh, we have uh, platinum sponsors. Uh, myself um, is a platinum sponsor because if I'm asking somebody else to do something, I got to step on up and do I it. I like it. I also. like your style. Okay, and uh, uh, L L Blue Ribbon Realty. Okay. Uh, and Sande is the broker. Yeah. Uh, she's a platinum uh, sponsor. Uh -huh. The Urban League. Yes. Uh, the CEO, Dr. Vanessa, Vanessa McLeod. That's a friend of ours. Who is also here. a member of the National Hookup of Black oh, Women. Okay. Uh, and so uh, we have. One other platinum sponsor, Heritage Daycare. Uh, yes, uh, Heritage uh, Adult Daycare. Yeah. Uh, Angela Biddings is the uh, proprietor. Yes. And so we have also a bronze um, uh, uh, section yeah. also, which is all state insurance. Thomas Wish. Okay. Uh, is the agent, and then Project Rebuild. Yeah. Uh, is also one of our sponsors. And uh, also we have um, Kim uh, Robinson, the uh, Calumet Township trustee. Yeah, that's my girl. You know, yeah. we have um, uh, State Farm agents, yeah. you know, and uh, we Steve have... Steve Mays. Uh, not Steve, but um, uh, the one we have is David Horton. Okay, I just threw uh, Steve's name out there. Yeah, a, be here in the a good friend of mine, uh, Steve is, and because I used to be in the insurance business, oh, okay. so of course we... <laughs> kind of back and forth exactly. uh, in competition. <laughs> uh, and we have uh, Thomas uh, Jerome, wow. uh, who is an agent also. So I can go on and on. We have many donors, and we'll you know, showcase them at that uh, gala also. But there's still, I want to say that there's Please. still room for people that want to support yeah. uh, our scholarship and programs. OK, it's not only the scholarships that people uh, support, but also our other programs. Yeah, tell us quickly about... The Teen Summit, yes. you know, our domestic yes. violence. Yeah. Uh, we give away toys uh, during the, the Christmas yeah. for Village of Hope. Yes. Uh, we provide them with uh, nutritional classes uh, throughout. We yeah. uh, support uh, the feast table there in uh, East Chicago, right. St. Mark Church, yeah. uh, that uh, feeds the homeless and give out. Wow. So this is the thing, Jeff, that is important. When we see a need, we step up. Yeah, you do. Okay. Sometimes it's not on our calendar, right. but if we see the need, we step up. Yes. Uh, just yesterday, one of our members uh, heard about a young lady that needed a prom dress. Yeah. She put the call out, next thing I knew was already done. She had a prom you know, dress. You know, so it's just, just you got to ha have the pulse of the community. Absolutely. So that you can be able, keep your antenna up so yeah. that you'll be able to recognize what's needed. And we always uh, welcome any other organizations that want to collaborate with us. See, that's what I like yeah. about you all. Yeah. You are not afraid of partnerships. We're not afraid of partnership. You know, little becomes much. Yes. Where everybody puts in a little bit here and there. Yeah. And then that we can make an impact, you know, in the community. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just, I'm genuinely serious when I say this, that I'm very impressed with this organization. Because 
I, you know, call me naive, and, and because I didn't even know until Sonda kind of told me about this organization, really educated me on it, and just to see how long you all have been around, and, and really listening to you talk, and kind of doing my own research about what it is that you do, you're not kind of out here heralding yourselves or patting yourselves on the back. I mean, no. you, you've always existed. You all just do stuff. Just do and it. And then if we, and you know, if, you, if people find out it's you, fine, but mo for the most part, you all just do stuff and support people, and... And, and support these great programs. And so I, I'm, I'm just absolutely ecstatic to have you on. Go ahead. I was going to say, she went over some of our partnerships. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to say the best for last. All right, let's do it. We then. did not talk about the MC okay. for our event. Okay, who's the MC? The MC is a celebrity, actually. Okay. Okay, you got to listen to this one. I'm listening. It is Mary Green. Which is the president of MGPG Events Incorporated yeah. and the creator and founder of the Black Women's Expo in Chicago and other urban markets. <laughs> so we have the best. Yeah, yeah. 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 You all getting all ginned up in here. A lot of estrogen going on right now. Uh, no, I mean, this is absolutely amazing. So if you can't give us the specifics, because we know it's, some people don't know where the Chateau is, give us the day, give us the time, and uh, give us the door price if people want to come, because this is going to be a great event. So go ahead. Okay, actually, that is Sunday, June 5th, 2022 at 3 o'clock p.m. Yeah. The Chateau Banquets is at 530 West 61st Avenue, Maryville, Indiana. They have good food there. Yes, oh, my do. goodness. Yes, yes they yeah. do. I, I'm sorry that they do. Go ahead. <laughs> the tickets are $50. However, there is still time to purchase tickets. You can contact 219-617-3145. Again, 219-617-3145. We would appreciate yeah. if you would purchase the tickets in advance because we have to have a final count into the chateau absolutely and so with that being said if we could have our final date for the submission uh would be yeah. may 16th okay the 16th is the final date well, I tell you what, let's go uh, one week prior to the event for those yes, people absolutely. that take a little longer. I feel, like I'm, winning, I feel like I'm in one of you all's meetings. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, May 25th. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, get like your it. ticket by then. Okay. Yes. yes. All right, now we're going to agree on that, ladies. Is that where we yes. are? All right, May That's 25th. where we are. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but in all seriousness, you're absolutely right. They want to have an accurate count. Absolutely, this is going to be yes. a top-notch event. It's a gala. And so, of course, to make sure that everybody has their proper accommodations, it'd be, it'd be better if you bought your ticket in advance. Yes. yes. And then to we'll add as well, the door. they'll also have an opportunity to be able to see the recipients uh, get honored on that day. It's so easy to hear about what organizations are doing and the scholarships that they are presenting. Yeah. But for them to be able to see. Yeah. I, I they agree. see where their dollars are they going. They see where their Absolutely. dollars are going. Absolutely. You ladies are amazing. You really are. I want more of you on the show. I, once again, Sonda, and I want to thank you all for being that uh, that newer sponsor here on the show. Anytime, anything you got going on, you know. Uh, I'm your guy. You can come through here at any Absolutely. time you want. Uh, give us some stuff coming up that we should look forward to. Obviously, this is the big main event, but as I said, I always, I've been getting asked when I'm out in the street about this organization that I'm always boasting about, and there are people that say, I want to be a part of this, or me, how do I support it? So if you can, give out that information again, because that's important. Okay, I am going to give out our information on if they want to support they can go ahead and they can go to our chapter Facebook page, NHBW Indiana. There is a donate button button on the page. There better where be. Where they can donate. <laughs> also, they can send in donations to P.O. Box 64956, yeah. Gary, Indiana, 46401. Yes. Um, making checks payable to <laughs> NHBW, yes. NWI. Absolutely. Okay. Um, for some of the events that we do have coming up this summer is summer reading. We definitely push summer reading yes. because yes. literacy yes. 
really is the grassroots of our organization okay. as a whole. Yes. And so we want to go ahead and increase those literacy skills. And we know throughout the summer, sometimes the, the youth can become laxed. Yeah. And so we will be providing free books, brand new books nice. to the young people. In fact, we also... Would you repeat that first part before free. Bones? There you free. go. She got me. No, exactly. <laughs> free. Free. Yeah. free. You do not have to pay for them. As a matter of fact, if we miss your site, you can contact us at 219-617-3145. Now I will tell you this right here. In August, we will be having a backpack giveaway oh. at the Boys and Girls Club yeah. in Gary. Yeah. Um, at that event, we'll have a DJ. We also will be providing free books. Oh. Our partner for this is Purdue Northwest. Nice. Okay. Nice. And so they'll have school supplies and things in those backpacks. There will be a ice cream truck. Oh <laughs> they will have goodness. ice cream on wheels. Yeah. Where they'll get free ice cream yeah. and then some free snacks as well. And we'll have some other items for them also. Well, you know what? There's an operative word you've been dropping and all these things, and that was free. And right. I think, and, and, and so it kind of comes back to this wonderful event that's coming up on the 5th. And a, a lot of us out here in the community really appreciate, you know, the organizations that really provide services and support people. But it is uh, it is driven by the community. And so these events a lot of times are annual. Some people do multiple events, but it is important for people to come out there and support that. Because I think both of you ladies articulated exactly where that money goes. And you, yeah, you know, absolutely. I mean, there's no, I mean, you know, ice cream trucks, the DJs, the backpacks that are full of stuff in the backpacks, the books. New books that are given away free. And reading corners. Thank yes. Reading yes. corners. Yes. I want to give a shout out if I can, Please. Jim, to a 21st century yes. charter school. Yes. 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 Reading corners. You make my there. life easier doing that. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, we support the reading corners there. Yes. Uh, anytime they have something, there, the kids have books there that they can take home. Uh, during the uh, yeah. Halloween, um, last Halloween session that they had there, they just had so many kids there, and we gave out hundreds and hundreds yeah. of books yeah. for the kids to take home. Yeah, and yes. of course, yeah. and of course, Gary Community Schools as well. Yes, if anyone in Gary Community Schools want a reading corner set up, let us know. Oh, we yeah. have delivered books to Aspire Academy, so many different. Reach out to us. Oh, I'm going to make we sure it happens. We will happen. make sure that we set up a corner. Oh, you're going to be, I yeah. might just put a reading corner in here. I might need one. Yeah, exactly. You can start Absolutely. out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's in your citizen building. <laughs> <laughs> Adults. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. We don't Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. We do not. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, just great stuff, ladies. Once yes. again, I, I very much appreciate you. It has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, I know it is. Uh, I know you are busy. Once again, thank you for taking time out of your day and hanging out with me, your and boy thank Jeff. You. Oh, thank you. There thank you. Go. you.